Hi, welcome to How to Repair. If your condenser tumble dryer is showing an empty warning light, this video will help you. I'm going to show you how to service and maintain the main float assembly, including the pump. This video is good for Proline, Creda, Ariston, Hotpoint and Indeset makes a machine. So I'm just setting the timer to a heat function. And we have already emptied the collection tray. Pressing the start button and it clicked out straight away. Press it again and we're getting the error warning light saying empty water. Now this normally indicates that the pump assembly has failed but before starting work on the appliance make sure you disconnect it from the electricity supply. Then we need to remove the lid which is held on with two screws and now we need to remove the side panel. There are four screws on the back and one at the top. On some makes a machine there is an additional screw fitted from the underside of the machine. I've also removed the left hand panel but this is only for filming purposes just to let some more light into the machine so you can see what I'm doing. Once you've removed the screws the panel just slides back and now we need to remove this plastic cover. This is quite a tricky item to actually get off because there's not quite enough space for the plastic clips to be removed. But just take your time and do not force the plastic as you will break it. And there you go. Now this exposes all the mechanical parts in the pump unit. You have the motor to the right hand side. Then you have a clear pipe which is the overflow which runs down from the collection tray. The white pipe is the feed going up to the collection tray and then you have a micro switch which is attached to a float underneath. This float rises, sends information through the micro switch to the program which then the program tells the pump to activate and starts pumping the water out. This is a complete assembly which uh, if the pump or the float is broken you can replace but in this video I'm going to show you how to service the pump assembly. So first thing we need to do is remove all the wiring. I do recommend that if you are not sure about the wires just mark them up on a piece of paper as all these wires are white and it's a good idea to take a photograph as well. At the website you will find a section on tumble dryer repair videos and diagnostic videos where every video is available from how a condenser dryer works to the heating systems, thermostats, belt, motor and so on. Now as you can see the collection tray is still full of water and this was the problem with the machine. Either the pump is not working or the micro switch has failed or the float has failed. So first thing I'm doing is just connecting up the meter. I'm setting this to continuity just to check we have a circuit which is activating when the float is lifted and as you can see this is working. Now I'm going to replace the float out of caution because these floats can wear. Um, so we'll just drop the float out Now you can buy all these parts separately. There is a kit available as I said earlier, but the floats are only a couple of pounds. What actually happens with these floats, because they're submerged in water and high temperatures, the polystyrene over a period of time does uh, deteriorate and this float can start jamming inside its housing. So I'm just replacing this and the next thing we'll look at is the motor itself. Once you've connected the new float just double check it with your multimeter. It should be rising and falling easily inside its housing and as I said earlier this is what actually sends the information to the program to allow the electricity to come down to the pump for the pump to activate. So we're going to remove the pump. This is held on with some clips and she'll just pop out. Now at the bottom of the pump there is usually four uh, very very fragile clips 
we need to just slightly prise these being very delicate because if you break it you're going to have to replace the pump but what happens with these pumps is sometimes they fill up with fluff from the machine and this is usually due to bad maintenance in other words it hasn't been hoovered out on a regular basis I do emphasize in all the videos these tumble dryers do need a little bit of maintenance occasionally keeping filters and all the seals and the condenser unit free but as you can see in this pump there is a lot of fluff that's built up and of course it uh, becomes a mass in the water so we're just making sure this is completely clear make sure all the tubes also just make sure the impeller turns freely it's a magnetic uh, propeller so you will feel it turning but with a slight click and do take your time to clean the whole unit and once you've cleaned this unit you need to clean the collection tray in the bottom of the machine as well so once cleaned just clip it back into position pop the motor back into place and we'll clean the tray out now this water comes from the condensing unit uh, so you really at this point want to take the condenser unit out and also uh, clean that uh, as it isn't an electrical part you could actually take it outside and just give it a blast with the hose pipe but once everything's inserted do make sure the float is lifting freely the micro switch is working and then reconnect the wires the way they came off So once you've got all the wires attached again, make sure that you get them clipped correctly so nothing catches. Now we just need to put the pipes back on. As I said earlier, the clear pipe is the return from the collection tray when the collection tray is full the water flows back down that pipe into the pump therefore activating the switch uh, and then the programs telling the pump to start repumping the water and after a period of time it will time out and come up with the empty light fault so we'll just quickly put this machine on the test bay and there you go no warning light coming up and the machines working again we hope you found this video helpful and please remember to visit the website for all other tutorials and any parts that you need and if you did find this video helpful remember you can always buy us a beer for the information thanks very much indeed for watching